Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, somebody. I greet you in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ, wherever you are watching from. I am Stephen Adeyemi. And I am inviting you for us to share the word of God and pray together on a program called The Moments of Grace with myself on Tobago Inspirational Network 137 every Saturday at 6 a.m. And I pray the Lord himself will give you moments of grace in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God, hallelujah, praise God, amen, praise God, hallelujah, praise God, amen, praise God, hallelujah, praise God, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Now join me and let's sing together. Say, praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, Amen. As we have sung in that song, let us praise God. Let us say hallelujah. Let us say amen. Let all say hallelujah. Let all join our voices and say hallelujah and amen to God Almighty, to God Almighty, to our God. Let us say hallelujah and let us say amen to his name again today. We bless the name of our God. We bless the name of our God. We will always be doing that. This is something we cannot afford to stop doing, to be blessing the name of our God, to be giving praises to the name of the Most High. We bless the name of our God in the name of Jesus. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching from. I pray that the blessings of God continue to abide with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It's a new day. It's a great day. And I welcome you to another edition of Moment of Grace from this channel, channel 137 Tobago Inspirational Network. This is where we meet every Saturday at 6 a.m. to share the word and pray together. And the Lord has been doing mightily in our midst. Even though it's a virtual meeting, you are all in your different places and we are in the studio here and we are doing things, but we know that God is everywhere. Yes, we are producing from the studio, but you are in your offices, in your homes, in your business places, but God is everywhere and we are able to connect with each other. We bless the name of our God. We bless his holy name. And I welcome you all to today's edition of this program and I pray that what God has prepared for you, you as a person, what God has prepared for you will not elude you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So let's quickly go into our program today with a short prayer as we are starting. Let's just, can you just worship God with me? Let's worship him and commit to this program unto his hand. Father, we exalt you, we bless you because you are God. We lift your name on high because of your honor, because of your glory. We give you praise because of your glory, because of your honor. 
We exalt you, our dear Holy Father. We worship you, Lord. We worship you. We worship you, O God. We worship you, O God. We worship you, O God. We give you praise. Be exalted, mighty God. Let your name alone be exalted. We pray, O God, as we've gathered today virtually, we pray that your mercy will speak for us. We pray that your mercy towards us be renewed again and let our testimony abound unto your glory in Jesus name Amen for in Jesus name we have prayed Amen is somebody excited to be on this program today is somebody excited is somebody excited and say yes it is another time to take something great from God is somebody excited and say yes it is yet another time to receive from god hallelujah somebody glory glory hallelujah i have some prayer points for us today as we always do we always pray on this program but before we go into our prayers i i i I love to always share on the topic which we are praying about and we study we see together in the word of god so that we have a clear understanding of the prayer points that I might be calling. So we will not be, the prayer points will not be sounding somehow to us after we must have treated it in the Word of God. So we pray together again. I title today's message as Ephata. 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 I can't say, maybe it's an English word, maybe it's an Hebrew word. Maybe it's a Yoruba word, maybe it's a French word, maybe it's a Spanish word, but I know is a heavenly language. Yes, that's all I can say. When we read together now, you will see yourself that it is a language that it is used specifically, but that specifically for a word that means be opened. Be opened. Please turn your Bible with me into the book of Mark, chapter number seven. The book of Mark chapter number seven let us read together from verse number 32 let's read mark chapter number seven are you there i want you to open your bible with me that is how we always do it on this program open your bible and let's read together so i am waiting for you to get there mark chapter number seven if you are there just type amen please just type amen that you are there mark chapter number seven yes great mark seven from verse 32 we read from 32 through 35 it said and they bring unto him one that was deaf and had an impediment in his speech and they beseech him to put his hand upon him they brought a man unto Jesus Christ who was deaf and had impediment with his speech as well for Jesus to lay his hand upon him. Let me take a pause there. What is that thing that you have brought to Jesus this morning? What is that issue? What is that case? Because they know that Jesus is capable, is able to do something. They trusted in his power. They trusted in his anointing. They know what he can do. So because of that, they brought somebody who was deaf. Jesus was not a medical doctor. They don't know him as a medical doctor. He wasn't known as an ENT um, professional. No, he's not a medical practitioner. They don't know him as somebody who treats hair, nose, and throat or something. No. But because they know him as a miracle worker, it's not because there are no doctors around. It's not because there are no ENC practitioners around. No. But they did not go for a medical attendance for a medical attention, sorry. They didn't go for a medical, for a a medical treat, but they went for a miracle because they trusted 
in Jesus' anointing. Uh, do you have a trust in Jesus today? Do you have a trust in the power of God? Have you willingly come to present your case before him this morning? Or this afternoon or this evening? I don't know the time it is where you are watching from. Have you come wholeheartedly to present that case before him? I pray for you today in the name of Jesus. That case that you are presenting before God right now, as you are thinking in your mind, as you are saying it in your mouth, that case that you are presenting before God, I stand upon the rock of ages, Jesus Christ. I call upon the name that is above every other name, the name Jesus. I pray you, this man, you, this woman, you, this lady, you, this boy, you, this girl, you, this person, that you are presenting this case, not to me, but unto God. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will touch your life. The Lord will attend to that case in the name of Jesus. Because you have brought it to Jesus and you know he has power to do it, he will do it for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's continue our Bible reading, verse 33. And it, after they brought the man to Jesus, verse 33 says, And he took him aside from the multitude. <laughs> this is another topic I would love us to treat in, in, in the future time by God's grace. Jesus took him aside away from the multitude. That is a topic on its own, but we, I won't go there today. Let's go ahead and put his fingers into his ears and his feet and touched his tongue. Let's go ahead, verse 34. And looking up to heaven, he sighed and said unto him, Ephata, that is, be opened. The next verse, verse 35 says, and straight away. Ha. Somebody, can you chorus that after me? And straight away. And straight away. <laughs> English is not my first language, but I understand it to, a, to an extent, at least a little bit. When they say straight away, it means in no time, just like that. In, in, in milliseconds, in microseconds, just like that, immediately. The Bible recorded that, and straight away his ears were opened, and the string of his tongues was loosed, and he spake plain. <laughs> straight away. What a wonder working power. What a wonder working power. What a wonder working power. So we have seen what a fata means. It means be opened. That was the that was that that was the word Jesus said after he touched the man's ear. He said, A fata, be opened. <laughs> People of God, there is power in the name of Jesus. People that experienced Jesus physically, they experienced his power. They experienced miracle. We that we come later, we didn't see Jesus physically. But since he came to the world, his power remained the same. We are using his name today, and his name is working just as his physical presence. So it is in that same vein today, in that name, that we are going into our prayers today. Now everybody knows what Ephata means. It means be opened. We are about to open some doors today. Some good doors, some great doors. Yes. 
Remember when we started this month of September, I said write it down. And the remaining four months of this year, it is, they are months for you to harvest. These four months are months for you to harvest your labor of the past, not just from January, but even from the past years. Yes. So I told you to write it down and God is working it out in your life in the name of Jesus. So let us go in that same faith, in that same knowledge about the name Jesus that we have today. Let's go into our prayer now. The first prayer point I'll be calling for us today, and I'm not just calling prayer points just for calling sake, but I want us all, including myself, to pray those prayer points together. I want us all to pray those prayers seriously. Yes, the Bible says, His power remains the same. It says, Have you not heard? Have you not seen? Isaiah 40 28 that our God is an everlasting God. He failed not. His years are unsearchable. It's, it's, his power remains the same. His power remains the same. The same power that He said the other day that Ephrathah and straight away the, man, the man's ear was opened and he spoke plainly. That same power is still in existence till now and forever. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah because that power remains the same. Somebody shout hallelujah. In that same vein, let's go ahead now and start to pray. Just begin to thank God. Say, Father, I thank you for today. For this day, for this very day, just say, Father, I thank you for today. Say, Lord, I thank you for today. Father, I thank you for today. I worship you, God. I worship you, Lord. I worship you. Lord, I worship you. I worship you, O God. I give you glory. I give you praise. Thank you, Lord, for today. Thank you, O God, for today. Thank you, O God, for today. Thank you, O God, for today. Thank you, Lord, for today. Be exalted. Be exalted. Be exalted in the name of Jesus. Glory to your name, Lord. For in Jesus' name we have worshipped. For in Jesus' name we have worshipped. Somebody say a bigger amen and type your amen. For in Jesus' name we have worshipped. Amen. Amen. Let's go into our prayer point now. The first prayer point says, Any agent of delay in achieving good things in life <laughs> any agent of delay in achieving good things in life i put an end to your operation now in jesus name brethren can you begin to pray every agent of delay of good things in my life in the name of jesus i command and put an end to your operation now in the name of Jesus I put an end to your operation every agent of delay I put an end to your operation now in the name of Jesus for in Jesus name we have prayed amen for in Jesus name we have prayed amen the second prayer please people of God be saying Amen. Be saying Amen. If you can type the Amen, type it, and encourage some 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 people. Encourage somebody. Encourage somebody. Let them say Amen. Let us get into the prayer together. The second prayer point says, every hindrance to desired places of glory. <laughs> people of God, let's pray this prayer very well every hindrance to desired place of glory glory you desire to travel somewhere you desire to, you desire to get married you desire an admission into a school of your choice every desire every desire we want to pray now that everything that is hindering those desire 
to go to glorious places. Let's pray. Say every entrance to desired place of glory be removed now in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Every entrance to desired place of glory, I remove you now in the name of Jesus. Every entrance to desired place of glory ah, in the name of Jesus be removed now, be removed now, be removed now, be removed now. I remove you now in the name of Jesus. Every entrance to desired place of glory, I remove you now, I remove you now, be removed, be removed completely by the power in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. People of God, in my spirit, I feel that we should pray that prayer again. When hindrance is removed, the journey is easy. Can you start to pray again? Say every hindrance to desired place of glory be removed now in Jesus' name. Pray, pray, pray in the name of Jesus. Every hindrance, all hindrance to desired place of glory, all hindrances to desired place of glory be removed, be removed, be removed, be removed now, be removed now in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. The third prayer point says the covenant of ease resume operation for my life. Yes, covenant of ease. When we ask for covenant of ease, we are not asking for ease of one day, not ease of one week, not ease of one month, not ease of one year, but it will be a covenant. And we know our God is a covenant keeping God. So you are asking for a covenant of ease to resume operation in your life. It means it will never stop. People begin to pray. Say covenant of ease. Partner with my life. Resume work in my life. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. The covenant of ease from God. Covenant of ease from God. Resume duty for my life now. In the name of Jesus. Covenant of ease. Ah, covenant of ease. Covenant of ease. Partner with my life. Resume for my life now. Begin to operate for my life now. In the name of Jesus. The covenant of ease. Partner with my life now. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. The fourth prayer point is this. People of God, pray like this. Say, anointing that provokes open doors. (laughs) The anointing that provokes open doors fall upon me. That is how you will say it. You will say, the anointing that provokes open doors fall upon me. Begin to pray, begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. Anointing that provokes open doors fall upon my life. Anointing that provokes open doors fall upon my life now. In the name of Jesus. The anointing that provokes open doors fall upon my life. The anointing that provokes open doors fall upon my life. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Because of our time, the last prayer point for today. You say, desire doors be open now. (laughs) I don't know the doors that you desire for. I don't know the doors that you desire for. This is how we are going to pray this prayer. We will pray it twice. The first time we are praying now, you will say, desired doors be opened. We will will pray it generally. 
Yes, let's pray that now. Say, desired doors be opened unto me now in the name of Jesus. Desired doors be opened unto me. Every door that I desire be opened unto me. Every great doors, every good doors, every beautiful doors that I desire be opened unto me now in the name of Jesus. Desired doors be opened unto me in the name name of Jesus for in Jesus name we have prayed amen for in Jesus name we have prayed amen now this is the second time we are praying this prayer and it's our last prayer point for today you are either in your room in your office in your business place in your car anywhere you are if you are able to mention those things those doors that you desire for your life be it marital, be it academical, be it business, just begin to <laughs> ah the Bible says in Numbers 14 28 when the Israelites were murmuring unto Moses, God said, Tell tell them, as they said in my ears, so will I do. I sanctify wherever you are now in the name of Jesus, that the presence of God be multiplied unto you. Yes, so wherever you are now, God is there. So say those things in God's ear now. Begin to pray. Say desire doors of this, of this, of that. You know those doors that you desire for your life. Begin to mention them in this prayer point now. Say desire doors, all the desired doors that you want. Begin to mention them. Begin to mention them. And I'll be praying along with you in the name of Jesus. Because you said in your word that we should ask and it shall be given. You said we should knock, it shall be opened. You said we should seek and we will find. Your people are asking now, O oh God, I stand upon the rock of ages. <laughs> Eternal rock of ages. In the name of Jesus, all these desired doors that these people are mentioning, that these people are praying about right now, I stand Stamp them in the name of Jesus and I declare them a father. All these desired doors that people are asking for, I declare them a father in the name of Jesus. Doors of blessings, doors of greatness be opened unto me unto these people that are asking all these desired doors that you all are asking for in the name of jesus i declare them open now in the name of jesus so shall it be for in jesus name we have prayed amen for in jesus name we have prayed amen i say for in jesus name we have prayed amen type that amen confirm it confirm it stamp it with that amen just type amen type amen in the name of jesus thank you for joining us today we will meet again next week same station same time until then remain blessed in jesus name amen amen hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord somebody i greet you in the precious name of our lord jesus christ wherever you are watching from i am stephen adeyemi and i am inviting you for us to share the word of god and pray together on a program called the moments of grace with myself on Tobago Inspirational Network 137 every Saturday at 6 a.m. And I pray the Lord himself will give you moments of grace in Jesus' name. Amen.